Hey guys, Dave here. Welcome to the Centurion's Review. This is the three best war games you can get for less than $15, in my humble opinion. Please note, I've only included games that are still available retail, and I've only included physical games. Absolutely no PDF-only games. What's interesting about all three of these games I'm going to mention is that they're either solitaire-only, or they have a solitaire mode in addition to a multiplayer option. In addition to that, two are from the same author. First, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, go ahead and click the yellow helmet in the lower right hand corner of the screen to subscribe. Without further ado, here's number three. Number three is Tyrannosaurus Rex from Fantasy Games Unlimited. Believe it or not, you can get this game for $5.97 and you can get it from either Fantasy Games Unlimited or from Amazon. They also have a PDF version of this for $4 if you really need to save that extra $1.97, but I wouldn't. Uh, just uh, go out and uh, spend the $3 on shipping or whatever it is and get the print version. Anyhow, it was originally printed in 1985, and it's a game where the players are hunters who go back to Earth in time machines to hunt dinosaurs. They're armed with energy weapons that have a limited number of charges and one or more special items. The dangers they face are numerous, including being attacked by a dinosaur, volcanic eruptions, flowing lava, earthquakes, poisonous plants, quicksand, poisonous snakes, giant reptiles, dragonflies, various water animals, and being stranded millions of years in the past. In addition to this, the taxidermists on Earth are real picky, and the more shots it took you to kill a dinosaur, the less they're willing to pay. If that wasn't frightening enough, your energy rifle is not waterproof, and any time you get it wet, its maximum range decreases. It's a really exciting game with a lot of depth, but the counters are not die-cut, and you have to cut them out. I think it's a great deal for $5.97. Number two on the list is Phobos Rising. This retails for $14.95 and is available on Amazon or directly from Decision Games. It's the most revolutionary micro game ever made, period, because it's both a Euro and a war game. I absolutely adore this game, but be forewarned, you have to like both Euros and war games or this game isn't for you. It's a solitaire game where you command a group of insurgents who begin the game with limited equipment and attempt to secure key facilities on Mars. If you complete all four missions in the campaign game, the Free Mars Revolution begins and will be continued in the future game, Free Mars. During the game, you recruit new cadre, get new gear and vehicles, fight security forces, create temporary autonomous zones, and attempt to complete your mission before you run out of cards. Yes, there's ways to get uh, more cards back in your hands. I just love this game. Before we go to number one, we're going to do an honorable mention. It's for, called Cactus Air Force Air War Over the Solomons. It's from Decision Games also. This retails for $14.95 and is available on Amazon or from Decision Games. It's about the air campaign in the Solomons during 1942. I haven't written a review of this one yet, but trust me, it's a good one. If you see it, pick it up. You're going to like it. Okay, now number one. It's Quezon 68. This retails for $14.95 and is available on Amazon or directly from Decision Games. It's a solitaire board game about the Battle of Quezon. This is a standalone game using the Cold War Blitz rules. Those are the same rules used in uh, Suez 56. In this game, you control U.S. and Arvin forces in an attempt to protect Quezon, Longve, and the Rock Quarry. In addition, it's your job to clean out and occupy all the NVA entrenchments, hilltops, and Route 9 spaces. You also get points for killing NVA, but you lose points for each Allied ground or air unit destroyed. The higher the kill ratio, the better, just like in the real war. In real life, NVA armor, yeah, I said NVA armor, and infantry overran Longve before most of the events at Quezon occurred. To make this game more historically accurate, I added a house rule where the three units that are in the NVA's initial setup in Laos also get the armor unit and two of the 2-2 two -two infantry units. Then on the first turn, the armor unit and the 2-2 two -two -two infantry units attack Longve. This almost always resulted in Longve being overrun and the Special Forces unit there being either defeated or retreated. In addition, I made a house rule that has artillery fired at Quezon and the Marine Hilltop positions each turn to make the game more challenging. 
I put links to all of these written re all to the written reviews for all of these games, except for Cactus Air Force, into in the description. I've also put Amazon affiliate links in the description, so you can pick up a copy of any of these that interests you. Let's hear from you guys now. Please post in the comments section w what you think of this list and what your favorite war games under fifteen dollars are. I learned a lot from uh, you guys' comments and the emails you send me. So there's been a lot of games uh, that I had never heard of until you guys told me about that. So always uh, love hearing from you guys. Thanks for watching. Please click thumbs up if you liked the video. And as always, have a good evening.